This is the final video in a series on how to run a B2B cold call. In the previous videos, I've outlined how to introduce yourself, how to run the discovery section, and how to build rapport over the phone, our 10-step process. In this blog, we're going to focus on the final step in the call, how to close. So closing is often seen as being the toughest part of any sales call, but it really shouldn't be. When you think about any sales transaction, there are three main components, the introduction, the presentation, in a B2B cold call, I call this the discovery process, and the close. To get the outcome you're looking for, you can't give a poor presentation and simply apply a high pressure or tricky closing technique. It's like saying that you'll work hard when you get the promotion to CEO. You're never going to get there. The hard work of the call is always done well before the close, not during it. And that's because you can only close a prospect who is engaged in what you're saying and interested in what you're selling. So while this blog, blog is actually about closing, it is also a reminder to perfect your entire call and not just the close and to put effort and emphasis into the presentation and the introduction. When you have a strong introduction and a well-executed presentation or discovery process, you have built such a solid platform on which the prospect is much more likely to agree to taking the next steps with you because you will have built rapport, discovered whether your prospect actually has a need for your product or service. It's really important too. Demonstrated that you understand their situation and their problems, and in doing so, shown and explained how your product or service can help them address some or all of these issues. When you've done all of this well, closing the call is both, closing the call is both simple and straightforward. Gone is the need for a pushy close, and gone is the prospect who's been closed but actually doesn't need your services or maybe is not a good prospect for your company. Instead, your close invites prospects you know have an interest and a defined need for your services to join you in taking the next step. And what's more, they'll be looking forward to doing this with you. Remember that a close is not a one-size-fits-all. It's all about taking the right next step for the prospect and for you. For example, the next step may depend on the size of the opportunity. After all, you want your well-paid sales team spending their time on the most worthwhile sales opportunity. So you might assign smaller opportunities to a different sales process or a different team. And the next step for smaller opportunities might be a phone call rather than a face-to-face -face meeting. Also, not everyone you speak to is going to be ready to meet with you right now. So while you might want to set a meeting, there may be no point in doing so when this is not the right step, either for them or for you. So what do I mean by that? Let's say that there's a prospect who's under contract for the next two years. There's really little point in asking them to have a meeting with you next week. It's really a waste of time for them and for your salesperson. Prospects like this are still a good opportunity for you, though, albeit a longer term one. So handled correctly, these prospects can be nurtured into a solid pipeline for you, ensuring good sales opportunities well into the future. So your close in this case might be simply to get them to agree to receiving your regular newsletter and some follow up from you over the coming months. So you should use the close to do two things. Firstly, Qualify the opportunity to make sure it is really a good opportunity for yourself and for your sales team. You don't want to waste time with prospects who really aren't a great fit for you. Agree is that number two is agree and secure the right next step. So to do this, start by restating the prospect's needs. Then move on and qualify the sales opportunity they represent. And finally, close to secure the appropriate next step. And when you do these, steps in this in this order it flows very simply so why do you restate their needs because it demonstrates that you've listened to and understood their situation and their challenges it reassures them that you've recognized their pain points and it reminds them exactly why they should take the next step with you so here's an example well john based on what you've told me it sounds like you're looking to restate their needs and this is exactly what we can help you to achieve. I'd like to gather some information about your current situation to make sure we're a really good fit for you. So can you tell me, now ask the qualifying questions. 
Once you've done that, you say, okay, it sounds like it would really make sense if you've got a bit of time next week to have a phone call, Zoom call, meeting with whoever the salesperson is, who is one of our experts in this area. He or she will be able to get a really clear picture of where you're at and will be able to show you exactly how we can help you. When would be a good time for you next week? Do you have time on Tuesday or Wednesday? So it's simple. You move from one section to the other and it's a natural journey and nothing feels for, for, forced. If during the qualification pro process, you find that the prospect is not an immediate opportunity or not a good pro opportunity, you can substitute a different closing paragraph. So let's say they're not an immediate opportunity. You might say something like this. Okay, it sounds like now is not the right time to talk to you in detail about this. So what I'd like to do is to send you some information about our product and service right now, and then stay in touch with you and re-engage with you at the right time for you. Would that be okay? Great. Now, can I have your email address so we can keep you up to date? And I'll make a note to call you in three months to see if we can get together then. So it's a simple way to get the prospect to, con to continue taking the journey with you and take the next step. It will always work, provided you have executed a solid introduction and kept the prospect engaged during that discovery section of the call before the close. But obviously, the prospect must have a genuine need for what you offer.